picking up right where we left off, let's assault Butch's Fortress. As you can tell, it's playing the first-person shooter sequence music, and as soon as we go down these stairs, we're thrust right into another sequence. This is the last first-person sequence, and of course the hardest. You can get lost in here. So, I, I know my way around pretty well now, because this is like try number 25 to beat this level. <laughs> So, I've got this down pat. Instead of going to the end of the hallway, uh, all the curves, you need to stop in the middle of one and actually head south before you continue on. You can tell what direction you're moving at any given time thanks to the little compass indicator under your health bar that will say north, south, east, west, etc, etc. Um, you are constantly insulted by guys and they come from all sides to try and rack up as much damage on you as possible. But, of course, they stand no chance against me. Except for that guy who shot me in the face. We're not gonna talk about that. Or that. Or that. Yeah, none of that ever happened. You know, it was never explained exactly what Butch plans to do with the president, and now we're in a side-scrolling section again. This level makes us go through every type of sequence. Oh, what is it? Holy cr- Oh, yes! <laughs> Delicious! <laughs> that was awesome. But I need that health up there. I wonder if I can ride this- Yes! Oh, those guys are all back. That was a fast respawn. They can't even shoot up. They're kneeling guys, so they can only shoot forward. <laughs> Oh, they had to put that in there just to make me feel good. Going down the stairs in this game takes forever. Yeah, not happening. Fuck your stairs. Hey, wait a- Did the crown just disappear? That's the <laughs> oh, this is bullshit. How did they even make that? How does- how did anyone design the ground to just suck into itself like that? Oh, I'm done asking questions. Apparently, Butch is a freaking magician. He just builds mazes and caves and under his fort that he builds on top of a freaking mountain. Oh, these things. This type of trap was actually in the ninja level, but we didn't see it because I didn't fall down in any of them. If you fall down inside the house levels, you will fall into a cave sequence with spike traps like these. They're nearly impossible to get by without taking a little damage. Okay, and now we're in a factory? Uh, I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah, apparently Butch wasn't satisfied with the giant spike presses, so he came up with some big steel pistons. Oh, wow. Accidental kill there. I didn't mean to shoot that guy, but... Makes me look like a badass, so I don't care. Is that lava? Yeah, I don't remember if that instantly kills me or not. And that's actually a pretty di difficult jump to make. Um... Ow. Okay. Um... I don't know if you can see this right now, but there are steam jets shooting out, and they have a wind effect, and they push me back, and they do, like, a bullet's worth of damage, I think, if they hit me. So you have to time it right and get by them. Sometimes the flickering objects don't actually show up, I've found, in my final recordings. So, you may, it may just look like I was being pushed by an invisible object. Okay, there's several doors here. I don't know which one I need to go through. Not this one. Yeah, it's probably the next one. Um, yeah, all of these are dead-end encounters. Yeah, except for this one. This is the one you need to go to. And now we're in a disco. Let's party! Disco fever! No, I'm not going to sing. I refuse. Except for that. Maybe later. I've got an idea. Let's play Boogie. Let's play Karaoke Revolution. 
That would be awful. I don't know if I could subject you guys to that. Let's play Karaoke Revolution with Mr. Doom. He's got the greatest singing voice ever. And now he's Bowser. Now we got columns of fire everywhere. I probably should have stuck with the silver bullets. Ow. Probably should have stuck with the silver bullets, but I wanted to save some for the last couple of boss fights. Yeah, there's more than one. Which is usually what doomed me as a child. By the time I got the butch, I never had any life. really need to be more careful. I can't be I can't afford to well, as long as they keep refilling my health I guess I'm okay. But I really can't afford to take all this damage. I hate this room. Bullets ricochet off the walls so it can be harder to dodge things. They go their max distance in the ricochet. And I can never make it work out for me. But I get hit a lot. Like that. Or I just run into people and try to beat them with my face be some kind of sport. This is probably a really bad time to bring up that I've never beaten Butch Cassidy ever. Um, here's hoping I do. He... I don't really know how to describe the fight. I've never actually gotten past, I think, the very first part of it, as far as I can recall. And I'm glad I went left. With these ovens? What the fuck are these things for? Why would they exist? I don't even understand this game anymore. I think this is the last room. I'm gonna need that health. Oh, that was a cheat move game. Dick move. Right. Okay, this boss fight, this boss fight is complete bullshit. It's basically, ow, god, it's basically the boss from the last level, woo! The boss from the last level, um, but two of him, and nowhere to hide. The only place they can't shoot you is in that center area, and that's only if you don't draw them any closer. Sometimes you can run past and get off shots at both of them. Really, it's best to try and just kill one first. And get shots off when you can. Ow! Get shots off when you can at the other. Oh, crap! I think I may have really. Yeah, I set them into a really bad pattern. Now I can't just run through. Yeah, they never reload at the same time. Even if you don't pop out or shoot one, they will eventually end their own pattern. And yeah, they throw dynamite too. Yeah, one health isn't cutting it. I am not. What made that explode? Okay, I hope this guy respawns. These dudes did, so maybe Dynamite Guy will respawn as well. Uh, he doesn't always, I know that. I've tried this before and then tried to come back and get that health and he was not here. So I don't know what determines if he comes back or not. But he's definitely not like the uh, healer was on uh, the ninja level. Alright, let's go see Butch's Death Trap. And of course my plan to get off the tracks is ruined by them making it a side-scrolling section. <laughs> it's a, what the fuck is this thing? It's some kind of tank. Well, so far so good. Usually I either got jammed in the face with those spikes or riddled with bullets from the turret. But now that I've destroyed that, I think I might stand a chance. I've never made it past the second part of it. Uh, the tracks there will pull me towards the spikes, which will jut out, and it hasn't shown up. There it is. Th yeah, there's those. Well, damn. Okay, I think I can do this. Yeah, now I just gotta hide under here. Awesome. Well, apparently Butch doesn't know how to move or um, realize the fact that he can't shoot me from there. So, looks like this is gonna be an easy one gonna keep uh, playing it safe. I can't really afford to take any bullets. I assume he only does two, but... Oh. Crap. 
caused you trouble? Didn't you murder, like, my friends and family? And kidnap my girlfriend before she could make me a sandwich? I like how he doesn't even know who I am. He hasn't figured it out yet that I'm the only Lone Ranger he didn't manage the kill. I'm the only R Texas Ranger he didn't manage the kill. Okay, uh... Hmm... Ah! Ah! Oh. Maybe I've got him in a loop. Whee! Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, ow! Uh. Oh, I see, I get it. Okay, he jumps. If I... Okay, depending on where I shoot him, I think he jumps over me. So if I don't get him to jump first, I should just ch shoot again real quick and he should jump over me and not kick my ass. Okay, if I can just not fuck up... We might actually... Oh, crap. I did not outrun that bullet. Yeah, it's... Okay, yeah, it works. I wish I'd figured this out as a child. Maybe I would have never quit this game. I quit a lot of games as a kid. You know, I didn't beat The Legend of Zelda for seven years. I got stuck on Dungeon 7. I never figured out which wall to bomb, because I kept running out of bombs checking them all. <laughs> Oh. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> For a second I thought I was gonna actually have to go down there. <laughs> Which would almost have surely killed me. Curious that, uh, apparently destroying his little mounted gun made this entire train stop working. Otherwise he could just, you know... Oh, he's dead. ACTION POSE! And there is President James Garfield. Well, right after I get done unlocking this door by humping it. There we go. Congratulations, Mr. President. You've been rescued from your terrible kidnapping. Too bad you're going to get assassinated in like three months. Have fun with that. Ugh. They recycled the ending from stage two. This is the end of the game! That is so lazy! I like how he asked himself, who was that masked man and not, how am I gonna get home now that the Lone Ranger apparently ditched me in the middle of the desert and then just rode off, leaving me nothing but a silver bullet. What an asshole. Sure, why don't we recycle the opening of the game, too, while we're at it? This could stand to go a little faster. Yeah, I got even with him by murdering him with bullets. Yep, all thanks to me and definitely not the U.S. Cavalry. I'm pretty sure they're all dead. Your journey is never finished. Start a new game plus! <laughs> no, there is no new game plus. The even the announcer is recycling his lines now. Yeah, with my faithful Indian companion Tonto, who did nothing on this entire trip except uh, unlock a door once. Yep, so glad he came along. Where was he during that train fight? And one last time, hi yo, Silver. And let the credits roll at double speed because these are slow. Game designed by Team Yeah, that's how I pronounce it. I refuse to believe that any of these things are real names. Skeleton Moppy? Bono Bono? Rory Donnelly? What a dumb name. The Rain Dance Kid, though, is okay. Presented by Konami. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed. This has been Let's Play The Lone Ranger, and this is the end. See you next time for my next Let's Play.